Hello, Pisces, and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate your support on this channel. I thank you all for the subscriptions and for the positive energy expressed on this channel. Thank you so much. So Pisces, this is going to be a collective reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for March 20th through March 31st. I apologize about the time delay. We're still going to pick up the energies from the immediate past, so we'll use the March 20th. This reading may not resonate for all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What's going on for Pisces? Surrender, Pisces. Surrender to the divine full moon here. So I feel the energy here of be bold and make the first move. What I feel is you're about to surrender and you're, you're, you're putting the energy of not creating resistance any longer, Pisces. There's something here that you're about to take action on. There was an energy here of surrendering to the highest good for the highest good of yourself here. Bringing in an energy here, I feel, where you are about to make a major decision, a major choice here. And the energy is being bold. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. You and your loved ones are safe, Pisces. New moon in Cancer. You can have a Cancer moon sign, or you could be dealing with a Cancerian at this time. So let's get some tarot cards out. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. There could be someone here that you've been going back and forth with in a relationship. There could be someone here that's been very inconsistent. Knight of Wands. Someone here that was very impulsive energy okay it could also be the energy of aries leo sagittarius with that knight of wands let's see what's coming up for you pisces let's see in the past for pisces we'll do past present and near future we're going to see what the situation is we're going to see what the challenge is for you pisces and we'll see how your person's feeling this is you, Pisces, Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. In the past here, there was a union. There was an energy here of unified love. Someone here that you were in a partnership with, a soulmate. Yeah, hermit. Someone here that you ghosted, Virgo energy. Okay, there was an energy here of you going through soul searching in the past here. There was an energy of being alone, turning your back on a partnership here. Three of Cups. There could have been a third party situation here. There could have been an energy of having choices. An energy with this, with this energy. This could be someone also that you had a friendship with. Someone here that was someone close to you in your community. There could have been an energy where in the past, you turned your back on a situation here where you were connected with someone. Now let's see what, where your person is in the past. Where is your person in the past here? Let's see. Show me Pisces person in the past. In the past, you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Someone here with the death card where you had an ending. Something here is what I feel there was a change. Transformation here with this card. And the tower with Taurus energy. So Mars and Scorpio. Scorpio energy heavily. And the energy of Taurus and Venus here. There was a breakup. Something here ended. Is what I feel. This could have been someone here that was coming in and out of your life here. With this energy. It was like you had an ending and then you had a beginning. And then the energy here is what I feel is there was a shakeup here. Someone here wanted commitment. You could have been in a commitment. You could have been in a partnership, a marriage. But with three major arcana coming up here is what I feel. Something changed drastically here with the tower card. There was a breakup. I felt seven of cups. There's an energy of 
this is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is Neptune and Pisces. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck with this. There was a lot of wishful thinking here. There was an energy here of imagination, keeping options open. There's an energy here, Pisces, of Seven of Cups is fantasy. It's having your head up in the clouds here. Okay. With the Sun card, Leo, energy here is what I feel. Yeah. And Venus, Empress. There's an energy here of you being bold, just like the card says, you being very happy. There's an energy here, of the Venus is um, Taurus, Libra, or Leo. I feel that right now you're feeling, you know, your self-worth, you're feeling very positive. This is Venus being exalted in Pisces energy here. There's something here where you're feeling very successful at this time. You're feeling very good. You're feeling very gr much in the energy of glamorous here. There's an energy here with the sun card. There's a lot of positive, successful energy around you right now. You could be, there could be someone here who's pregnant, someone who's giving birth. There's an energy or you're giving birth to a business project at this time. I feel like this is someone here that you could have a child with, or this is you. This is a mother figure, take it how it resonates, whether you're a man or a woman. With the devil card at the bottom of the deck here, Capricorn, there's an energy here of having a toxic karmic situation. There's a soul tie here, is what I feel. There's an energy here of a sabotaging energy. There's an energy here of somebody here has an obsession. It also could mean someone has a toxic behavior, I feel. I feel that there's an energy with the devil card here where there's a karmic soul tie. Let's see where your person is at. Where's Pisces person at? Six of Wands. So your person here could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Your person could be someone here who's seen in the public here. Yeah. Someone here who is coming back is what I feel. <clears throat> that wants to reconcile. This is the energy of the past is returning. Six of Cups here. There's someone here that you could know that you have children with. Someone here, for some of you, I'm seeing children. I'm seeing an energy of childhood memories, a reunion, good memories. Six of Wands is an energy, someone's returning, that you have a family with. Knight of Pentacles, someone that you've invested with. There's an energy of this person could have had very slow. Knight of Pentacles is the energy of the very slow knight of the deck. But Knight of Pentacles is also the energy of somebody creating routine, efficiency. It's a genuine offer that's coming back, Pisces, is what I feel. I feel there's an energy here of an offer, an opportunity that someone's coming in to present to you. Something that's going to make you happy. Let's see in the near future, what the near future brings. The happiness, where things are starting to take shape, three of cups. This is your energy in the near future. A celebration, a reconciliation, where you're rising, where you're grounding yourself, but you're rising your emotions here is what I feel. Let's see. This is people coming together, raising a toast, celebrating. Yes. This is daddy, father figure, Aries, emperor. So you are coming into the energy. This is you. And I feel that someone's coming in to reconcile. Someone that walked away, eight of cups. There was someone here that walked away from you is what I feel, Pisces. Very wounded. Eight of cups is an energy here of somebody here was <clears throat> very disappointed in the past. Someone here felt very abandoned. So now if I show you the cards, Pisces, this is what you have. 
you have the sacred masculine and the divine feminine coming in to alignment together here. Aries energy, Mars and Venus, which is taking place now during this reading going into April here, where Venus will be exalted. The sun is shining on this Pisces is what I feel here. Something very positive is coming in for you here. Okay, this is a father figure and a mother figure. This is a partnership here, is what I feel. It's a reconciliation with the sun card here, is what I feel. I feel that your person is coming in to reconcile. After there was a separation, eight of cups. Yeah, they're coming in, knight of cups. This is an offer. <clears throat> where the worst is now over. This is an ending of a difficult phase, 10 of swords. 10 of swords is ending the energy of where your person felt at a loss, they felt betrayed, they felt backstabbed. The energy now is Knight of Cups, your person's opening up to come in to make a love offer here, a very genuine love offer. Your person is nine of, hang on, nine of, we got this going, the sage, full power, yeah, so there we go, nine of wands, wounded warrior, Chiron and Aries energy here, someone's getting ready to persevere for, for what they want, they're taking a stand even though there's still an energy of healing that's taking place here with the nine of wands. I feel this is the challenge. I feel this is where you need to be bold, Pisces, and make the first move. I feel that this is the need to surrender to the divine. Nine is a completion here where you are getting ready to put down the burdens. I feel Knight of Wands and Six of Swords. I feel there's an energy here of inconsistency, someone here that could have been going back and forth with you in a relationship here. Six of Swords is the energy of moving on, relocating, where healing begins. I feel Six of Swords is the energy of regretful but necessary. You're given the right of passageway here is what I feel. I feel that this is what's going on in March for you. And this is creating a shift that's coming in towards April. So the first week of April looks like you will be moving forward, creating a swift um, action. You could be traveling. You could be making future plans, future discovery here. There's progress that's taking place where things are starting to lift off the ground here with the Eight of Wands. This is movement, unexpected. Something suddenly here is taking place in the near future. And we're going to clarify these cards for you. Yeah, we still got it going on here. Okay, hang on. Now let's get some clarifiers for what's going on in the past. With the Hermit card, you might have not been communicating. There was no communication in the past with the soulmate. This is someone here, yeah, Eight of Swords, that you felt very restricted from. You felt very self-imposed. Four of Cups. Okay. You felt like if, if it was an offer here that you were saying no to in the past. It was something here that you weren't seeing. Six of Cups. You weren't seeing this. Six of Cups. That there was a reconciliation here. It could have been a missed opportunity with the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups is a re-evaluation. You took time out and you pulled your energy back and you re-evaluated this situation. You were waiting on this person is what I feel, but you were not accepting the offer at that time is what I feel here. There was something that you were not seeing. Let's see, your person, the Hierophant with the Tower and the Death card. So your person, yeah, divine timing is at work here. Your person gained a lot of patience in the past is what I feel with you. Your person went through a healing. They gained balance after Scorpio's clarifying Scorpio death card. 
after an ending here, your person here was at a distance from you, is what I feel. Your person was at a distance. Your person went through an energy of being through the war and back, is what I feel. I feel there was a breakup here with your person, with the universe coming in here that made a sudden change. Something here where your person had a major change in their life and they put a lot of healing. They gained patience in a situation is what I feel. I felt they were trying to be very tolerant in this connection here. Let's see what the Empress is and the Sun card. Yeah, you could have been going back and forth on a decision. This is a juggling energy of not having balance, but you still had hope, you still had faith. The star card, Aquarius, energy. You were hanging on to hope in this situation is what I feel that you have. Yeah, page of wands. I feel this is where you're communicating. I feel that a message is coming in here. Now this could be you delivering this message, but I feel divine timing is here with the page of wands. What is your person? Clarifying, your person is single. Nine of Pentacles. There's someone here who is very self-sufficient. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's someone here who <clears throat> is very confident. Someone here that's been through a lot. Someone that's come back from the war. The Six of Pentacles. Someone here that is seen in the public eye. Someone here that could be... Um, Someone here who has public recognition. What's the Six of Cups? Yes, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Your person's coming in with a lighthearted love offer with the Knight of Cups here. They're coming in from, from, they're coming in with a love offer that they want reconciliation is what I feel. I feel they have a lot of love for you, Pisces. What's the Three of Cups with the Emperor? Ace of Pentacles. The Emperor is taking action. The Emperor wants to take action on a new solid start here. A, fi a financial, something that brings in prosperous finances, money, career, a solid foundation. Something here that's built to last a long time. Ten of Wands, they're releasing a lot of energy. Ten of Wands is the energy here of them releasing burdens, releasing responsibilities, of carrying a load on your shoulders by yourself here, is what I feel, Pisces. There's an energy here of releasing and surrendering to the divine, ending a phase here of you doing things on your own. Yes, Queen of Swords. So now I have a Queen of Swords, the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. Let's see, Knight of Cups. There's someone here that is trusting their intuition. This is you, is what I feel. I feel you're coming in as someone here who could have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I feel that you are trusting in your intuition here, is what I feel. I feel that nothing gets past you now, Pisces, is what I feel. I feel you're putting your foot down and you're trusting your, inst your instincts here and you're surrendering. There's a cut here that you're making. If there was a third party situation with your person here, okay, or you, that's coming to an end is what I feel. There was something here that I felt with the two of pentacles where you were going back and forth on a decision here. I feel you are making a clear cut decision here with the queen of swords. You're being very confident here. Very organized is what I feel. Yeah, and Ten of Swords is clarifying Ten of Swords for your person. Your person is putting, the worst is now over. It's behind your person. Your person is ending that. They're waiting for you, Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your person is preparing for you. They want a restart, a new start here, Pisces, is what I feel. Yeah, the wild card. Your person here wants a positive new start with you. They see something that they're ready to end, a karmic cycle, they're ready to end 
any difficulty and they're ready to rebuild and restore a connection here with the 1010. There's an energy here of accomplishment, of travel that's here because they see you as the empress here. There's an energy here of Venus. They see you as very glamorous. They see you as very motherly, very compassionate. They see you as luxury. They see you as, well, just not luxury, but Venus is an energy here of abundant with you. They see that there's an energy here of growth, expansion, is what I feel. At the bottom of the deck, yeah. Somebody here has been having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of insomnia here. There's an energy here of being in despair, is what I feel. So, Pisces, let's get some cards out on love. You have six of cups twice here. Yes, engagement. Your love life is about to engage. So your person here could be putting a ring on it here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Your person is coming in here to commit, is what I feel. You could have memories with this person from childhood, for some of you here. Yeah, your person wants to reconcile. So what I feel is someone from your past is returning, Pisces. And divine timing is here, right here and right now here. This is someone you have hope in a connection with that's coming back here. Yeah, separation. The tower card is clarifying the separation. There was a breakup here. You and your partner had time out. Where are, clarify that hermit. Yeah, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You are very attracted to this person here, is what I feel. There's a lot of intense attraction here. Let's clarify the Empress. Let's clarify this Empress for Pisces. Empress of Pisces. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings here, Pisces. I feel this is you. You have a new cycle, a new love that you feel now. <clears throat> and the Page of Wands could be a new love offer, yes, where you have a lot of chemistry here. This is a new beginning in love here. You have a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion. You're very attracted to this person is what I feel. Let's clarify the Emperor. The emperor, you have children with this person here, okay? Father figure, you could be a father figure. Your love life is being affected by your children here. Yeah, the emperor is someone here ooh, who's a father figure. Someone who wants to take control of the situation. Yes, you deserve love, you are lovable. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you, Pisces. Making a decision here because a love offer is coming to you. Um, this is going to be an offer here where you're going into partnership, long-term reconciliation here. This could be with someone that you have children with because I am seeing strongly the Empress. That means the feminine and masculine, a father and mother figure or someone here that you see that you want to have children with. This is an energy that I'm seeing here. And that is what I have for you, Pisces. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you, Pisces. See you soon.